morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. It's been a long time since I've picked up the vlogging camera which feels very weird but very needed long break in Bali which was just so lovely. I was thinking about vlogging but I think sometimes it's actually just good just to have a little bit of a break. But I picked up the camera two days after being back from Bali feeling a lot fresher. I suffered with a lot of jet lag at the beginning but I think my body is back on track. Um, my mum is here. She came last night and I had a really cute dinner with her and Helena and now we're just having a girls day and catching up so I thought I would start this weekly vlog here we're about to go and walk to Battersea Park have a little stroll and then come back and go down to Stone Square and do some autumn winter shopping so I thought I'd take you along to that as well so yeah Let's go. I'm wearing my And Other Stories trench coat, Pelene bag, Tala leggings, uh, New Balance trainers, and my Genny hat. <laughs> guys so we are back from our very long walk from Batsy. I didn't really film much because one we had no makeup on two it was quite early and it was a long journey we did 17,000 steps so we earned our breakfast we had a really nice breakfast at the pear tree cafe in Batsy Park and now we've literally just came home did literally a half an hour spin around which was I'm very proud of us well actually no 40 minutes we'll say 40 minutes spin around and now we're gonna go into Sloan Square and do some autumn winter shopping can I show you now because you've got makeup on oh my gosh my mum is here morning <laughs> yes morning. good morning yes good morning but yeah mum's over for the night had a little Thai curry which was delightful and now we're gonna go shopping yay um I'm wearing a new shirt from what the brand and it's this chocolate stripe shirt which I'm obsessed with and then my Margiela trousers Samba trainers and then my my Taylor Morris sunnies. Oh, look at these. My mum got me these for a welcome home present. And they're so pretty. And they go with my console table very nicely. I feel very jarred vlogging. I feel like I can't speak properly. I need to get into the swing of it again. We are in the white company and it is definitely slipper season. I am obsessed with these. But also, mum spotted Birkenstocks. <gasps> oh, they're so cozy. And oh, honestly, if you're thinking about treating yourself to something little or like presents for friends, the cashmere socks at the White Company are the most dreamiest ones. Those are cute. Ooh, <laughs> Look, oh my goodness. Now that is like goals. Oh, the White Company just never do it wrong. It's just the best. Love this like paisley print. Very cute. One thing I am, um, I wear 24-7 is a hot water bottle. Is that a hot water bottle? Yeah, so it like wraps around you. Hello. Don't see on that. Neither have I, mother. You're lucky, Dad. Oh, Christmas has arrived. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, there's actual like Christmas decorations out. Oh, little pumpkins. Oh my goodness. Stunning. Love. They just do it all just so beautifully. I've just tried on this beautiful coat from the White Company. It's like a shearling mink grey. And it's so beautiful. And it literally goes with my outfit I'm wearing now. <gasps> this is stunning. This is literally winter in a coat. It's beautiful. Absolutely adore it. Christmas has arrived in John Lewis. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. I know it's a little bit too soon. I mean, we haven't even had, what's it called? Halloween yet, <laughs> and it's already out. Call it again. Hello. I've been dreaming. So we've just stopped at Vardo, even though we've had a lovely little <laughs> brunch. We were like, we're still hungry, but we're at Vardo outside, it's still quite lovely and sunny. We've gone for, mum went for the chicken, really nice, and I went for the crispy sea bath. I don't know what it was, like a pad thai? Yeah, pad thai. Papaya mango salad. It's delicious. What a cutie! Good morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. Welcome back to the vlogs. I haven't been on my YouTube channel for a very, very, very long time. I do have a bit of content that I filmed before I went to Bali. If you didn't know, I went to Bali for a month with my friends and it had a mixture of working and just kind of taking a break and it was very much needed and I feel very inspired and very excited to come back and just get into the full swing of content, inspiring you guys for style, beauty, interior, 
materials, food, you name it, it's all coming very soon and I'm very excited for it. So there are a couple of things that we do need to catch up on and I think within this vlog you are going to be going back in time when I talk about certain topics. For example, before I went to Bali I actually went and got my brows done with Tracy Giles where I got my lip blush done. So we'll be doing an update with that. Right now I have nothing on my brows. I have had both of my treatments and I am so over the moon. But I think I'll talk about that a little bit more when I am not rushing out the door and I have a bit more time to go through the process and you can see a little bit more in the daylight. However, I am just getting myself ready as I am about to go and meet my assistant and I believe my manager, I'm not too sure if my manager's gonna be there, for a coffee and a catch up and also to collect some products for some campaigns. That's I have coming up, which is really exciting. And yeah, I have had a lot of parcels come through the door whilst I've been away in Bali. So we have a lot to go through with that and some new in autumn pieces, which is really exciting. But for now, I just wanted to introduce myself and say hello and I will be back for the foreseeable. I just, I think I needed a little bit of a TLC month off in Bali, which is just wonderful. Honestly, a miracle having my brows done. It literally takes my makeup 10 minutes. So it is day three, I think, being back from Bali. I am still really struggling with my jet lag, which is very unfortunate. I didn't think I'd be this ill from it. I actually feel like I've got a massive hangover this morning. So I'm really struggling with that. And I tried to go to a gym class and I just, just wasn't talkative. I wasn't in the mood. I had no energy. And I think my trainer could tell. So yeah, so it's a bit of a weird, weird feeling at the moment, which I'm really not enjoying. Hopefully I will come out of it very soon because it is just taking, taking its sweet time and it's not very enjoyable. But anyway, I just wanted to say hello. I'm just going to quickly get ready and then I will show you my outfit of the day. Okay, I am literally rushing out the door, but I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day. Day. I need a lipstick. I have been really loving the Clinique Black Honey Lip Balm. So nice and it'll be so amazing for autumn winter. I literally wore this to death in Bali. It's just like a really nice um, colour that actually suits a lot of people. But yes, I am ready to go. I need my, I've got my uh, pods as well. I'm pairing it with my Songmon bag. I believe I do have a little black bag in one of my deliveries, which is really exciting. But for now, I'm leaving it in the box because I just want to do like a full unboxing with everybody. So I'm wearing a me and m jacket. This gorgeous olive green colour. I adore it. I got it just before I went to Barretts. I paired it with a white t-shirt and then I've just got my pearl necklace from Monica Veneda and a necklace from Saru. Just adding a bit of summer details because the sun is still shining. The rest of the jewellery is from Monica Veneda as well. And then I've just paired it with a white t-shirt, blue jeans, my <laughs> my white stambers and I'm going to spray the Diptyque. This is the Eau du Nabati. And I literally, me and my brow lady, we were saying, it's when you smell it from the bottle, you do not like it. It's a really weird scent. But when it finishes on the body, the bottom notes are just delicious. It is wonderful. Very like sandalwood, bergamot really smoky it's really nice so the plan is to quickly go for a coffee with my assistant annabelle and potentially max my manager and then i am going to quickly head over to to source which is down at turnham green terrace source is a like sustainable refillable company so i can pick up some maca powder spirulina bits of bobs like that like rice bits and bobs which aren't in packaging so i'm saving on packaging and helping the environment um but also as well it's just it works out so much cheaper so i'm gonna get like coconut flakes almond flakes goji berries all my favorite things like that and just stock up on things like that because that's what i like to do whilst i'm in the area so yeah before i'd quickly show you an outfit of the day in the mirror it's just a quick easy staple and then I chucked on this gorgeous jacket. Also as well, my phone case I'm obsessed with. This is from Atelier and it's got a really cute pearl charm bracelet. But yeah, outfit of the day. I'm gonna go and head off for coffee. <laughs> from my outings and my appointments. I was actually gonna shoot with Holly today, but she's been 
very poorly bless her heart but that meant i was actually able to go and get my nails done the gel bottle the gel bottle kindly invited me along to get a refresh from bali as my appointment with my lovely beth isn't until a couple of weeks time so i was in desperate need as they were a month old and we've gone short i cut my nails and i'm very happy i did and i've gone for this really gorgeous chocolate color which is called fashion i think they've named it wrong i feel like they actually should call it like chocolate bar because it literally just looks looks like pure chocolate like in person it is incredible and I was really excited to go short and just have a block color and I didn't want to go anything too risky or something that I'd regret so I'm really happy I've gone for this really nice dark chocolate brown for autumn but I think it just works really well with my color palette and my style but anyway I got fashion done fash hun it's like fash and then in cap h-u-n and yeah i really love it i think it looks really cute and with the gold jewelry i think it looks very gorgeous and very chic but now i am home i did my meeting with, with my assistant annabelle which was really lovely and i was able to go to source to collect some bits and bobs but i'm going to unbox these and put them in their containers and then show you what i got <laughs> we have a little sauce haul so i thought i'd quickly show you what i've got but i don't know if i told you or i told actually my assistant but with sauce you can earn points every time you go there so you have a membership and when i went i had 10 pounds off so i saved 10 pounds on my order which was incredible so that was an absolute treat so these are the things I've picked up and stocked up on and these are the things are like my usual go-to and what I was missing in my cupboards. First off, I've been snacking on this, like these little clusters, oh my god, and I just used it with some peanut butter. Honestly, I am salvating, I'm trying to have really good willpower to not do any more because I was unreal. But this is the lemon and goji buckwheat granola and it is incredible, I've only got a little bit because I will eat the whole thing. So this is like my weekend treat which is delightful. And it's got coconut chips, cashews, goji, buckwheat clusters with lemon in it. Oh my god, it's delicious. I also picked up these straws because I loved the colours of them. And it was four of them for three pounds. And I was like, that's very cheap. If you look on Zara or on Hay or Trove, they're like 20 pounds. So these were one pound each. And if you bought three of them, if you bought four of them, you got them for three pounds. I thought that was incredible. They had a couple of these as well. And also as well, Source is online as well. So if you do want to check it out, you can do a order. I don't know if it's just for London. But yeah, check it out. Um, I stocked up on chia seeds. I love these in my smoothie and making chia puddings and in my porridge also a really good thickener so if you are vegan and you want to make crackers or cakes people use chia seeds for those spirulina I use in my smoothies it's just a really good powder to have in your diet which I really recommend uh, don't know all the full ins and outs but maca is a really good um, hormonal balance ingredient so I add that into my diet and into my smoothies and into my porridge this is mushroom powder and i just saw it and i thought i'd grab some so i'm gonna add that into my smoothies as well hoping that it just doesn't taste of anything i topped up on some pumpkin seeds and almond flakes they both go really lovely on savory and sweet things so that's really nice uh nutritional yeast which is high in b12 and also it's a cheesy flavor for vegans but i actually quite like the taste and it's really nice in fresh pestos which i am going to make with some pine Nuts. so that is my little sauce haul i will leave them down below because i just love it there um there's one in clapham one in brighton there's one in chiswick but yeah they are incredible and i absolutely adore them and i was very very happy when i saw that i was able to use my 10 pound voucher honestly this is delicious mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. the lighting in here is just so wonderful honestly i feel like i've been very blessed with the weather I have come home to. It is just so beautiful outside. It is still very warm. It's just a really nice like warm autumn's day. It's so lovely. Apparently we're gonna have a heat wave as well, which I'm kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very ready for because I think I was very ready to come home to no sun and to have a really cozy 
autumn which is like the smallest violin but i am very happy it's still sunny because it has kept me in a very good mood it keeps me very inspired to do things and be a bit more energetic about things because i'm not gonna lie i am flagging i'm tackling some parcels every day so bear with me if i do a lot of unboxing in these vlogs but i have accumulated quite a fair few pieces over the last month where i have been away and i wanted to go through a couple of them because there are some really lovely pieces and I'm going to curate it so they kind of work well together the brands the products and um, so I hope you enjoy it first one is from Monica Veneda which is very exciting so I was very kindly sent a voucher to spend as well as I have been also I believe very kindly sent something from their new collection with Kate Young and I believe Kate Young has done a collection before so I'm very excited to see what they have kindly sent me from the collection it's a really lovely autumnal collection as well it's a lot of tortoise shell and yeah I hoped it was these tortoise shell black green and just like really gorgeous colors and they kindly sent me these really gorgeous tortoiseshell double hoop earrings oh my goodness i am obsessed i think they are absolutely stunning i'm currently wearing their previous recent collection which is the matching earrings and the ring i'll leave these all down below but i have to put these in instantly i feel like these are going to be so perfect for autumn but i'm actually going along next week i think to a monica Feneda press day so that'd be really lovely to meet the team because i actually haven't ever met the team before so it'd be really lovely to meet them <gasps> i love oh my god they're so lovely i'm like i think brown is my favorite color i think it is i actually think i'm gonna go darker in my hair as well for autumn which will be really exciting i want to go just a bit more caramel it's very blonde at the moment oh, i just want a little bit more warmth in it okay those are absolutely stunning i love those so thank you very much to monica veneda for kindly sending those over i also picked up two bracelets which actually is very bizarre because i basically i had a bracelet from monica veneda that my previous boyfriend got me and the day of our anniversary of breaking up i lost her and that's very like I have had a lot of witchy things happen to me but this bracelet for me is like i love this bracelet anyway and like i would i wouldn't have got rid of it because my previous my ex got it for me however how weird is that that i lost it on the day of the anniversary that me and my ex broke up that is just bizarre and also as well i haven't addressed that with you either it's been a year since my breakup which is even scarier like how quick this whole year has gone which is really scary but with saying that as well i ordered these two bracelets before i went to bali and then i lost my bracelet when i was in bali i mean if that's not a new beginning i don't know what is so i honestly i couldn't believe it so I picked up two bracelets, some really lovely classic bracelets, which I think you are going to love, which are also an amazing birthday present, Christmas present. They're also very unisex as well. They are absolutely gorgeous and you just can't go wrong. I actually can't believe I ordered these and I lost my old one when I was in Bali and I've ordered new ones. That is just madness. So these are Monica Veneda's Classic Signet Bracelets. These are absolutely stunning, beautiful, very, very, very classic, very, very timeless. I just think they are absolutely beautiful. I do actually have the matching rings as well. This one's a little bit battered. I've had that for years. I actually got that for my first year of my cancer, I believe, or my second year of cancer. And then I got this maybe a couple of months ago. Um, so you can get the inner classic and also in the uh, diamante band. And I have done the same with the bracelets as well. I've gone for one classic and one diamante band. And I just think they're so beautiful. I got them in both the small size because I've got diddy little wrists. And I just think they're so elegant and so beautiful. And I cannot believe I ordered these before I went to Bali and I lost the one that my partner got me. That is just madness. But how beautiful and elegant are they? They come in silver as well and a bit more of a thicker band, which is really lovely. 
but I just really love how beautifully they pair together. Really love them and I really love this Diamante version. So thank you very much to Monica Veneda for letting me pick those out. I also picked up a Monica Veneda cleaning jewellery kit. So I'm going to give this a go at some point this weekend because especially after Bali I think my my jewellery is definitely much in need of it so we'll do that together this one i think i was actually talking about this to you this morning so i thought it was actually the right time to open this up and it is a new bag and it's a bag that i've been lusting over and i think if you are looking for a new bag and you want to spend a bit of money but you aren't really ready or want to invest into a higher designer price point then this is one of the brands i would really recommend so you have songmon which is that gorgeous white pouch bag that i always wear at the moment but you also have a very gorgeous brand called Pauline paris and i've spoken about Pauline paris a lot over the years of youtube instagram and it's a brand that i always gravitate towards it's such a beautiful french really high quality handcraft leather bag they are just incredible a really lovely price point as well i would say the highest price they have on their bags is around 400 pounds really incredible quality i have a couple of them and they very very kindly have sent me over a bag that i've been lusting over for a very long time and it's something that has been missing in my wardrobe and i am very excited for this to be mine so it comes like this also as well if you are in paris i would really recommend going to check out the store it's a beautiful flagship store i believe they're opening one up in new york but i wanted to open this up with you because it's a bag i definitely think i have been wanting in my wardrobe for a while now especially when getting the beautiful cream songmont bag i just adore the style of it and this kind of pouchy look and i I just knew instantly I wanted the black version by Pauline Paris. Just a little bit more different and I just absolutely love this bag. I picked it up because I adored the thin straps which come along with it. So it has a really beautiful gold clasp detail and it does open up like the Songmont bag. A really lovely magnet clasp and it is just so chic. You're going to see this with wearing it during the day with the crossbody chain but also as well at night time. Just having a bag like this is just so chic and elegant the quality of these bags are just so so beautiful um and i'm completely obsessed so thank you very much to pauline paris for kindly sending this over i will leave it down below because it is a it's a designer company that i would really recommend the quality the styles the colors everything about pauline paris is just so beautiful and chic they have an array of different styles on there as well but this was something i've been lusting over for a very long time and i think it's just going to be very very well loved and you're going to see a lot of this so i apologize in advance but yeah you are going to get sick of this because it is so gorgeous and i can't wait to wear it with being in this industry for a fair few years now i'd say that i think it's my fourth or fifth year that i've been in this industry i kid you not you don't get tired of these pinch me moments when brands are getting in contact with you to ask to send you something space and k reached out to me very 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 kindly to send me some products and space and k is like one of the dream brands i've always always wanted to work with or or be in the known with when it comes to maybe new launches with products or something to do with space and k space and k to me is just a very gorgeous luxurious beauty shop and out of all of them it's a company that i gravitate towards and just adore i just think it's just a very classy shop and i absolutely love going in there it's just very high end very minimalistic and they have created a an incredible edit of the brands that they sell and hold within the shops and online and i stand by actually all the brands pretty much that they have in there there's a few i haven't tried but every time i go in there i'm like yep love that love that love that love that i just think it's just such they've just done it so well i love the space nk travel bags everything i just love them so much they've also actually started their own refillable products which i think is amazing as well i think their shampoo conditioner and body lotions and body washes which i think is amazing because there is one fulham where i live and i think that's quite handy so i do need to go and check that out and try it but with my job i've been very kindly sent so many products i've hadn't actually needed 
to go and get any shampoos, conditioners or body wash for a very long time. I'm very, very blessed with that. However, I'm digressing. So I wanted to unbox this with you. So Space and Kate kindly sent me a box of products, which is very exciting. I actually don't know what's in here. So I thought I'd unbox this with you. And we do have some very exciting <gasps> products and brands that I actually haven't tried yet. So we firstly have the Ultraviolet. Oh, this would have been perfect. The Fave Fluid SPF 50 Lightweight Fragrance Free Sun Cream. We also have the Pharmacy Beauty Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is currently their number one selling makeup remover. Uh, we also have from a company called Langige. Is this the brand that everyone raves about with? They have lip balms. And I think they're like a very famous company who have like Everyone just raves about the, these lip balms, but I don't think this is a lip balm. This is a Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Gel Moisturiser. This is a brand that I've always wanted to try. So this is the Drunk Elephant uh, A-Glow Retinol Oil. Over 70% of our beauty reviewers awarded this powerful retinol oil an impressive five star, with fans describe, describing it as great for dry, sensitive skin. One is from Paula's Choice. Paula's Choice is a very, very recommended product as well. So this one's the 2% BHA liquid exfoliator. Global bestseller, this leave-on liquid exfoliant is clinically proven to brighten, hydrate, reduce fine lines and improve the skin barriers in just four weeks. But this collection is some of their skincare heroes. A massive thank you as well to Space and Kate for kindly sending that over. I feel like I will leave that haul there because otherwise it's just going to get ridiculous. You don't even want to have a look at my room. It is crazy how many parcels there are. Very sad, but I've been lustering over this dinner for this whole week. So it's that salmon bowl rice avocado dish. But I saw someone use tuna and I was like, wow. So that's what I've done. I had leftover rice from my dinner with my mum and Helena. And then I've just got some itsu wasabi seaweed crispy bits, which are actually really intense. So I don't think I'll be getting them again. I really like them, but I just can't handle it. Cucumber, avocado and syrup. I'm about to head out the door for some vino with my friends we're just going to go to one of the pubs near me they're gonna message me and say where they are i've literally just kind of touched up my makeup and i don't know just kind of like i don't know i haven't really done much to it except add like a little bit more smoke whilst i've got my hands out i am just so obsessed with this brown i feel like this brown is gonna be like the trending color for nails like short brown nails are so cute i love it it feels so good to have short nails i must admit and i'm just loving it, it looks very chic but i'm wearing my zara top which is the backless one with my white bomber jacket over the top to just be a little bit cool my camera's flashing uh blue jeans and i'm actually taking the pauline bag so this is my little chilled pub outfit of the evening but my battery's dying so i'm going to love and leave you here and i will see you guys in the morning good morning guys it is saturday now and i am in the midst of filming a campaign which is really exciting i'm working with tan lux which for me is like very exciting because one obviously it's a very iconic tanning brand and two i am just such a big fan of them i absolutely adore their products one of my favorite ones which i am working with is is their tan Lux express mousse this is a hydrating self tan mousse it says it in the name it has hyaluronic acid in it it's got some incredible ingredients in here which are going to not only nourish your skin but in 30 minutes give you a beautiful express glow and when it comes to coming home from holidays it makes me very sad that i can see my my tan fading so i really like to top up my tan here and there just to prolong it and help it on its way and i will definitely be carrying on using this when it, we go into the more autumnal winter gloomy months um as i do not have any trips planned so i will definitely keep topping up with this what I also love about this as well, it is clear, so you're not going to get any marks on your clothes, on your bedding, as well as you don't need to sleep in it um, or leave it for a long amount of time. As again, like I said, it is 30 minutes, so super quick, super easy, 
very rapid it is amazing you can leave it on if you want to um but i would say just do a quick couple of trials to see what suits you so i've done all the filming for me applying it and the befores it's time to make a coffee now whilst i let this cook okay it's a little bit later now i've just been pottering around the house just sorting things out and i thought as i had a few hours left to spare that i'd actually do a little bit of a try on haul with you whilst i try and figure out what i'm going to wear today honestly as much as i do love this weather it's very tricky to figure out what to wear because this morning it was gorgeous it was stunning the sun was shining it does say 20 degrees and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear shorts, little tops, some sandals, and I know I'll know what to wear. Now, whilst I'm filming, it is grey and it's windy. I just, it's just not very helpful, is it? Um, I have an idea of an outfit that I do want to wear. I'm just gonna wait for holes to see if I can borrow her dress. Um, I saw this girl have this gorgeous, like, little uh, dress on, cowboy boots, and I thought with an up with my trench jacket, I thought that would actually look really pretty. But anyway, I'm digressing. So the other day, I was very kindly invited over to and other stories to check what is new for the new season, trial out some pieces. Luckily. I was very kindly invited to pick some pieces to take home with me so I thought I would do that with you now I am in and up stories now and I've come to try on some pieces so I thought I'd quickly show you what I have picked out there is music in the store so I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted so I'm going to kind of just do a quick montage of what I'm trying on and then I will chat to you guys properly at home. The outfit of the day is actually a trench from And Other Stories, my Margiela trousers, Samba trainers and a little black vest coat and my Taylor Morris sunglasses. <laughs> So I think with And Other Stories, it's a price point that makes you think about your money and where it's going. What I love about And Other Stories is that their products are so beautiful, high quality, and definitely worth the investment. So I made sure that when I was going in there, I was looking for pieces which were staples and the items that I'm going to wear time and time again. So previously I purchased this trench coat, which is just an absolute favorite of mine. It's still available online and in store. It's a really nice cropped trench jacket. Really gorgeous, a really lovely, smart look. It looks very, very high end as well. It just looks so gorgeous and I'm very very obsessed with it. I got it in an extra small. It's designed to be a little bit oversized. I would say stay true to size, but other than that, it is such a lovely trench. I'm very happy with it. And it's the perfect layer and piece to go into autumn with. So let's get into what I recently picked up. So the first two things I picked up were two classic t-shirts. I feel like you just can't go wrong with them. I picked them up in black and white. I picked up the black one in an extra small and I'd say that's definitely more my size. I picked the white one up in a small and it's a little bit too oversized for me. Uh, these are 100% organic cotton, really affordable as well. These are 22 pounds and the quality of them are incredible. You just cannot go wrong with having some really good staples in your wardrobe like a black and white top. They just go with everything, really handy to chuck on with a blazer, some jeans or some really nice trousers and you're good to go and I think it's really important to invest a little bit more into these simple key staples in your wardrobe because they're just going to last a lot longer and look a lot more um, put together. I then picked up a pair of shoes and it's definitely time to think about what we're putting on our feet as we are going into the summer to autumn transitional period and I basically wanted to make sure that I have started investing in two pairs of shoes which are going to see me very well into winter and I came across these and they had them in two different materials but I really liked the fabric version so I picked up Quartz heels and I just think they are so 
elegant and will just go with so much. I actually saw my friend who I met in Bali, her name's Liv and she lives in America and she wore a really, I'm gonna leave a picture here, she just like inspired me to get these. Um, She wore a black waistcoat, denim jeans and then court heels and she just looked so cool. But she also just looked super comfortable. So I was very inspired by that, especially with me getting the tube all the time. It's not really ideal and um, practical wearing high, high heels. So just having a really cute kitten heel makes me feel like I've dressed up. Um, but I'm also very comfortable. So I saw these and I just thought that these would be so perfect. I really like the look of them. I really like the height of the heel. These are an amazing workwear pair of shoes, which is really good as well. So for the office girlies out there, definitely invest into these because they are very gorgeous and very comfortable. And I really like the style of them. So I'm very happy I picked those up. I'm gonna see so much wear out of them. Styling them with tailored trousers, little dresses and jeans when it's like a bit more of a cooler look. Really happy I picked up these because I'm gonna see so much wear out of them. I then am very excited for the winter cozy weather. I picked up this cardigan. They had it in a couple of colors, but I just saw this. And this style of cardigan is going around all the shops at the moment. And it's a very much dupe of the Chanel boucle cardigan. And oh my goodness, she is just so cozy. So she is this beautiful, I think this is alpaca. It's quite soft, no, um, mohair uh, jumper, cream jumper with this really gorgeous thick ribbed detail and these gorgeous cream and gold buttons. She is so chic. Oh my goodness. And I picked up in a small. She is so soft. I am obsessed obsessed with her. So I have many visions of wearing this in many different ways and I'm hoping it gets a tiny bit cooler so I'm actually able to wear this with shorts and cowboy boots because I think that would look so cute. But the detail of it is just so beautiful and against all my gold jewellery and my brown nails and my dark lip colour I just think it's just so sweet. It can be definitely worn with a little uh, top underneath for a little shirt but she is just so cozy and oh i just can't wait to snuggle up in her really beautiful quality i really like this thick material band going around the collar and the sleeves i think it's just so gorgeous especially with the kind of flexible mohair look this just gives it a bit more structure she's so gorgeous and right now i'm wearing it with some shorts and if that's a little bit better and yeah i just think she's so cozy and i would love to pair this with some cowboy boots but also as well with some white trousers and trainers i'm just gonna get so much wear out of her and also as well, I can see her being wear with like tailored pieces. Oh, I just love her so much. I just think she's so gorgeous. Imagine like having your hair slick back, dark lip, dark nails. I just think this is just so gorgeous. And I actually need to invest into some cream jeans. I feel like that would be a really good investment piece to purchase for the autumn period. But yeah, I am very over the moon. I got this in a size small and I'd say it's a good size. Extra small I think would be a little bit too small uh, where I like this to be a little bit baggy and cozy and I'm very happy with her. Okay, next up, a couple of pieces from a brand called What The Brand. I, I instantly took out the brown and white striped shirt because it's just incredible i am so obsessed with it i wore it the other day when i was with my mum and i got so many compliments on it it just looks so cool very 80s and that's what actually inspired me to go brown on my nails but i picked up some other pieces um some really good classic black staple pieces so i thought i could go through these with you first so this is part of their new collection so the first piece i received are the lit hem trousers it would be really gorgeous with the cardigan an oversized sweatshirt they're like a sweatshirt material just like super gorgeous thick cotton so they're gonna be so warm and i am inspired to wear these with either black converses which are like going to be uh sticking out the bottom or some uggs i really would like to invest into a 
pair of Uggs this year. But it is so hard to actually find some Uggs because they're all out of stock at the moment. But I got these in a size 6, which is an extra, extra small. Really gorgeous. Love the... Uh, the darts down the front so it's really elongating and very flattering and then another staple to have in your wardrobe is a long sleeve top so this would actually look really cute with a pair of black shorts for this transitional period um, and maybe actually with a really nice like oversized sleeveless waistcoat at the, over the top um, I've also got some really nice Borg gilets, which these will be perfect staple pieces to have underneath. Um, but yeah, these are just so easy just to have in your wardrobe to chuck on with some tailored trousers, jeans, like I said, some shorts. Um, you could really dress these up with the accessories and how you style them. So this would actually look really gorgeous. Actually, this long sleeve top, black shorts, and then those court heels and a really nice bag that would look very chic and you'd be good for the autumn summer styling and then with some black sunnies i think that would look very parisian so i picked this up in a six as well i believe and i'd say that's a good size it looks a little bit oversized but still fitted i feel like tops like this you don't want to go too big because they can drown you and then last but not least what i was talking to you guys about was this brown and white striped shirt this is just gorgeous and i am completely obsessed with it i wore it with some white trousers and it just looked so cool i just i'm loving brown it's just a little bit more luxurious than wearing black it just has something about it and this deep deep dark chocolate brown is just so gorgeous i love the details of this shirt the material is really beautiful and doesn't crease easily at all i literally got it out of the packet i'm not gonna lie and i just chucked it on it was that easy to wear and then it has their what the the what logo at the back which i think looks really chic this would look so gorgeous on holiday which i was very sad that it did come out when i was in bali um but however i'm gonna see so much wear of that wear out of this for this season as well i'd love to find a pair of tailored brown trousers i think that would look so beautiful as well as i can see this with a silk skirt as well um but yeah really happy with this and i've been absolutely loving it like i said i wore some white trousers white trainers and a white bag and lots of gold jewelry and then my aviators and i felt very 80s i feel like for this season we're going super 80s style and i'm so here for it but yeah massive fan of this and i can also see this as well going really lovely with some cream jeans and my gilet and oh, I actually cannot wait to be able to wear this in different ways throughout the season. That is a couple of pieces that I have recently received um, whilst I've been away. I am going to be filming a bit of a autumnal haul which I'll be doing next week and that will be in a separate video so people who want to just watch that and people who want to just watch uh, vlogs uh, can have that opportunity. Um, I was going to put it within a vlog but I think that would be a bit too long so I wanted to share a couple of pieces that are new in my wardrobe and then leave the rest for a huge haul and um, so stay tuned for that so guys i've just got ready for my friend's baby shower so i thought i would show you a little outfit of the day and i'm very happy with it so i've just borrowed my friend holly my next door neighbor's little white dress because it's still lovely and sunny outside but it is still giving autumn feels so i thought i would do a little dress with some cowboy boots and a trench coat which i think is really sweet i've just also paired on those monica veneda kate young earrings for that autumn autumnal tonal vibe that i'm going for and then my lipstick of choice is this bobby brown this is the crushed oil infused gloss in slow jam and i am obsessed gorgeous like berry kiss color it is perfection just realized you probably saw me proper bending over in the mirror and i do apologize for that but yeah i'm about to head out the door to go and celebrate one of my besties having a baby soon which is really exciting so i will catch up with you guys when i'm back